Welcome to the Vernon Historical Society. We are located in the historic Vernon Grange Building at 734 Hartford Turnpike in Vernon, Connecticut. For our virtual open house, we will show several selections from a new permanent exhibit of the work of local artist Gustav Hoffmann. Gustav Adolf Hoffmann was born in Germany in 1869. Shortly after his birth, the family moved to Rockville, Connecticut. His father quickly found work in one of the many woolen mills in town. Young Gustav showed promise as an artist. After attending local schools and working for a short time in a woolen mill, he decided to attend art school in New York City and later in Germany. Hoffman spent his entire life in Rockville. He was able to make a living as an artist, supplementing his income by offering art lessons. This photograph of Hoffman's home on Laurel Street, taken in 1982, shows the shed behind the building that served as his studio. Over his career, he created art with a variety of media, but he was recognized for his etchings. He developed a new type of aqua tint, which resulted in etchings with colors other than the usual blue and black. The new exhibit is a collection of 17 etchings done by Hoffman over a period of years. After studying in Germany, Hoffman returned there several times during the early 20th century. His earliest etchings were characterized by intricate details. This etching, also from Germany, depicts a European-style barn. Hoffman often created etchings of rural scenes, usually landscape views. In this etching from Germany, a young woman carrying a scythe walks toward a field to begin haying. For many years, he spent the winters in Florida. He would drive down the coast on his way. Several etchings show the influence of his southern travel, including this piece of a courtyard, possibly in Florida. This untitled etching depicts a street scene in a southern climate. Hoffman often sold his art while on vacation. As Hoffman's etching style evolved, he created works that moved away from realistic details toward a more impressionistic feel. Larger than his earlier works, these pieces show gradations in the shadings with unusual tones for the time. In his more impressionistic works, Hoffman created scenes set at dawn or twilight. He continued to find inspiration in rural landscapes, trees, and cloud formations. Scenes of rural Connecticut, in particular places in Vernon and Eastern Connecticut, often appear in Hoffman's work. Gustav Hoffman died in Rockville in 1945. His work is still collected and appreciated by people from this area. In 1997, local resident Michael Sharon wrote a thesis about Hoffman for a college project. He started building his own collection of Hoffman pieces. In 2019, he generously donated his collection to the Vernon Historical Society as a permanent exhibit in honor of his parents, Dr. Michael Sharon and Jean Sharon. For many years, Dr. Sharon was a general practitioner in town while Mrs. Sharon managed the office. In November 2019, the exhibit was officially opened with a reception for the public. In addition to the Sharon family, many people from town and former patients attended to see the exhibit and to speak with Dr. and Mrs. Sharon. The new Hoffman exhibit is especially meaningful for the community as it celebrates a notable Connecticut artist and commemorates the career of a beloved local physician.